Okay, we have a beautiful six and we do have a nice big mythical coming in. Oh, I need to buy some more 300 bullets. And we do have a five. All right, let's see if we can take all three of them. All right, we're gonna start with the big boy. Did we get him? We sure did. ammo and he is going down in health perfect so guys i am using the 300 here the 300 does not get integrity on red deer but i do have the 303 and i do use the 303 when i'm shooting anything that is legendary or rare so i am paying attention hey guys we're back here on the hunter called wild and i'm lady legend today we're going to be grinding for red deer here in new zealand for that great one red deer i'm about 1300 kills in I may have some work still to do, but I am really hoping it is not going to take me 4,576 kills like it did for my very first and only Great One Whitetail. So yeah, I am using the 300. Don't use it if you don't trust yourself to be able to switch back to the 303 when you do have something that is trophy. So today we're going to look at tips for putting that Great One Red Deer in your lodge faster. And we are going to look at all of the spots where you will find Red Deer here in New Zealand. And that was not a good shot. I do like to hunt for red deer with my dog, especially at night. It is so hard to see. He just saves me all kinds of unnecessary stress. I just don't even have to worry about tracking them. Now, the reason I am using the 300 is because it kills them so much faster and I have way less tracking to do. And the name of the game when you are doing the grind for any species is time. You want to get as many kills down in the shortest amount of time as possible in an effort to spawn that great one. And you do want to stay interested. And let me tell you guys, if you do start to burn out during any grind, put it away and go hunt something else. It's totally okay to do that. And I do get it. It did happen to me the first time. I totally burnt out. And we are supposed to be enjoying this. It is a game. You just got to remember, it is supposed to be fun. And it is really fun to spawn a great one, but not easy. Let me tell you. Now this lake is absolutely phenomenal for red deer. And this zone right here, I actually blew out on stream last night. It did come back and it had all kinds of stags in it. So I have been starting to blow out zones that are pooping out on me. Now, of course, if you do decide to do your red deer grind here in Te Aurora, and I know I don't say that right, I do apologize. I do my best. It's gonna be done largely in the dark, in the rain and the fog. And it does start to get to you after a while. Now, if you are gonna set up for any great one grind, you're gonna need tents right out of the gate. That is super important. You can do it without tripods. Just be careful not to kill your zones off. You can only kill three from every zone without any hunting structure. As you can see, I have spent a bundle on tents and tripods. I've probably overdone it here. We're gonna have to pick some of those up and reallocate them. It is expensive to set up for the great one grind. So here in New Zealand, red deer drink from 18 or 1830 until 21 or 2130. So you are gonna need those night vision binoculars, the Gen Zeros. Now, because I am doing this grind in the dark, I have started using the night vision scope, which I never was a fan of because the magnification, let me show you here, is terrible and oh my goodness, I need to buy 300 bullets. But you know what? I got used to it and I am pretty good with the scope now. It's just so much easier if you're gonna do the grind here in the dark, you can actually see through your scope. Without it, and let me show you the difference here. It's a big difference. So normally I would be using the Hyperion. And while we can zoom in much further, finding that second deer to shoot or third is going to take longer because I just can't see very well. So we're gonna go back and use the Gen Zero night vision scope. And you will find it in the high tech hunting pack along with the night vision binoculars. Both of which you will need if you are going to do your grind here in New Zealand. It is smart to do some calling before you start taking shots because good chance you're going to have some stags walk out that you didn't know were there. But yeah, I believe 16 tents and 16 tripods will cost you 512,000 in-game dollars. And you actually need more than 12 tripods. So that's why it is totally okay to just start with tents and add your tripods as you go. I've always done that. And we sure have a bunch of tiny stags here. They are all babies, oh my goodness. That's all right, they're all gonna die. 
Now I was gonna do my grind just trying to shoot the sixes and up. I decided against that because there just aren't enough stags that are big enough and they do vary in size and I've been killing everyone that I see and we have 12 diamonds so it has been working. Now the best trophy I've had so far in the Red Deer Great One grind is my mythical piebald and oh my goodness, I just love that guy. Here we go. And we're gonna switch over to the 303 and five more shots. Not reloading. I don't know if we have anything left to shoot that has eight, that's my dog. <laughs> I think we only have does. So then, if I have no more stags, I will start to shoot at does just to get the herds to come back a little fuller. And that definitely smoked her. All right, I think we're good. So when you're doing the grind, guys, the game does not keep track of your specific species kills. You have to do that yourself. So I do that with a click counter. I bought this off of Amazon. It does the trick for me. You can use digital ones or you can just keep track on a piece of paper with doing ticks. And I have done it that way. Now the other way to do it, so that guy is a, just a five, beautiful right long shot, 120 meters. What I used to do is go into my codex, go under hunter, go to hunting profile, and there is your total harvest. So this is how many harvests I've had on this account since I started playing on PC, which is about a year ago, 19,803. So I'll jot that number down, then go back in when you're done your grind and subtract the difference. Now. I do only keep track of stags because the great one red deer, any great one can only spawn from a male. So I only keep track of stags. So if I do kill does, I just jot down how many I kill on a piece of paper. And then I take that off the number at the end. So you can keep track that way if you choose. But I really like the click counter. Now, as you spot around here, you will find red deer just about everywhere. This lake is insane for red deer. But what was happening to me is my herds were getting thinner and thinner. And I had a lot of zones here that only had does, but if I did have stags, they were tiny, tiny. I have been blowing those zones out, killing the zones deliberately, and they have been coming back with way more stags. Now we did have a bunch of tiny ones here. <laughs> Double lug heart, baby. Sweet. Love seeing bodies littered all over the ground. That is a sign of a job well done. And there's a six. So yeah, the 300 absolutely decimates Red Deer. We don't get integrity, but I really do enjoy it for the grind. It really, really helps me to not have to track a lot because they just drop in their tracks most of the time. And that's a pretty funky true rack. I am gonna taxi that. So what I have been doing is taxiing all the funky racks and putting them up in the wall in my Great One Grind Lodge. And it just really adds to the atmosphere. I really like how it looks. So I have been starting to do that and we have some pretty funky racks. So what I have been doing, even with the long range shots with the scope, is I always leave it zeroed at 150 and I just aim a little higher. I don't like how it zeroes at 300 and for some reason that has been working for me. Like that. Now I don't have the greatest RNG luck, at least I haven't in the past, but fingers crossed it will be different for this grind. Oh, <laughs> one of these days the game has got to cut me a break. So yeah, yesterday was my first day back on the grind. And it's the first time not having common fur types for red deer. So that's a brown. And that was a right lung, liver, and stomach shot. 208.08 meters. So this lake here, this is absolutely my favorite lake for red deer. There will be a zone. I just blew this zone out here. So I have five drink zones for red deer around this lake. So that's definitely one that I always grind for for red deer. So guys, if you would like to set up a Red Deer Great One grind here in New Zealand, I will show you where I have been finding my zones. So this inlet right up here, you will find Red Deer zones. You wanna search the entire thing. I am set up for backup zones there, but I'm not actually farming there. You will find them at this lake right here. I have five zones around this lake. You will find them coming in from this part of the river all the way down. You need to search right to the outpost right here. And I did have two zones out here. I only have one here. Then I have one there. These are all red deer. I do have red deer zones down at these three lakes, but I am not farming them there. There's just not good sight lines. We have one zone on the river. Then if you go to the top right hand corner of the map, I have one zone on this lake, one zone on this lake, but there are a lot on these two lakes. So I have three zones on this lake and four on this one. And those are the only places that I have red deer zones. 
So what I've done is I've set up in multiple places even when I'm not farming them so that when zones of mine do stop working or they just vanish, it does happen from time to time, I can just jump over here, pick a zone and farm that zone for the time being until I can refine that zone. So guys, when I am doing the grind, I am not farming from all of my red deer zones. I pick my best five or six lakes and that is what I'm using. You can use less, you can use more, but you want to do this quickly. So, so far I am 1400 kills in and we have 13 diamonds. We got our 13th diamond on stream tonight. So basically that's about the same rate at which I was getting diamond whitetail during the whitetail great one grind. About one every 100 or 120 kills, but they don't always come consistently. You can go 400 kills, 500 kills, get nothing, and then get a whole bunch within one or 200 kills. Just don't get discouraged, just keep going. And I have one stag here? That is just sad. Well, let's make room for some more. All right. You need to have all your zones found in order for your respawns to spawn properly. If you're not getting respawns, you probably need to look for more zones. Okay guys, this is my Red Deer Great One Lodge. And this is my first rare. He is just a silver piebald. Then we did get a Melanistic. He is also a silver, but he is still pretty awesome. And then we got this beauty. Eight Mythical Piebald, and he is one of my favorite trophies ever. He is pretty awesome. But yeah, the lodge is definitely coming together. 13 diamonds. See, this is where I've been putting my funky racks. Don't they look cool? And this is actually a diamond from before the grind, so I didn't put them with the other diamonds. I've been having fun putting the funky racks, even the little tiny cute ones. We're just having some fun, and that is uh, the biggest loser. That's what that is. So guys, I really hope that does help you to find your zones, to set up for the Great One grind, and to put that Great One Red Deer in your lodge. I'm hoping that it's gonna happen for me too. We're 13 diamonds in, 1400 kills. I may have several thousand to go, but I'm gonna keep on grinding. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. Let me know in the comments if you are doing a great one grind for Red Deer, how it's going and how many kills you are in. I love to hear from you guys. And if you did enjoy the video guys or learn anything at all, smash that like button. I appreciate you guys so much. It is so amazing for the videos. Thanks guys. And we will see you in the next one. Take care. That's the ugly rack.